I think we're we're going to see a rupture in the transatlantic relationship and probably the dissolution of the NATO alliance mm. after this one. Um, I think a lot of countries are going to check their six, as we say in the military. Why did we enter this alliance? Norway, Sweden, Finland. Um, by the way, those governments do not represent the majority of their people. Those governments represent about 45% of their people, especially in Norway. And mm -hmm. we had a great hand in engineering the election of those governments, just as we had a very powerful hand in engineering the Secretary General, Jan Stoltenberg of NATO, who's been very bellicose. There are people, mm -hmm. when they realize what they've gotten themselves into, I think, and this winter is going to show them what they've gotten themselves into, and as was just expressed, Germany's probably the lead character here, having a real problem right now because the old parties are losing power. And you've got almost a Nazi-like Green Party <laughs> that's kind of gaining power. And on the other side, you've got some people no one even knows what they want to do that are sort of gaining power. And the Christian Democrats and others are kind of shrinking not only that, Germany's manufacturing sector, which unlike France, unlike almost anyone else in Europe, and unlike the United States, which is down to about 11% of its GDP is produced by manufacturing now. That's still a huge amount of manufacturing, but it's, it'll show you it's gone from 70% 1945 down to about 11% now. We're mostly into finance and money moving around. Well, Germany was 20%, 20% manufacturing. And now, as was just suggested, they probably are manufacturing some things they shouldn't be. But nonetheless, people are going to start leaving Germany because they can't do it anymore because of the energy shortage. Same thing with Xi Jinping. When he cleared his Politburo of all those Deng Xiaoping, Hu Jintao types, including Hu Jintao himself, who believed in communism with capitalistic characteristics or whatever you want to call it, to parse it, when he cleared the whole Politburo of anybody who knew anything about or supported the capitalist tendencies of China, he cleared the Politburo of all confidence of outsiders in Asia and the wider world in China. So it remains to be seen what he's done to the Chinese economy because of that. Will people continue to invest in China and continue to work in China? if they think the leadership is opposed to what they want to do or are doing. It's a huge question. And I don't think Xi Jinping realized the significance of what he was doing when he cleaned the Politburo out and put nothing but yes men in there. So we're, we're looking at, I think, a very dicey situation this winter and one that might show itself in the spring and summer to be a different world afterward.